All right, momentum support. To support that was just introduced this league and was initially met with a lot of controversy because it came with a round of changes aimed at adjusting the leveling process, mostly as it pertained to racing or speedrunning. It replaced the old onslaught support, which was accessible right at the start of the game, and used by a lot of efficiency-oriented people for an extra boost in speed while leveling and in the early acts especially. Momentum was sold as something similar to that, but a little different. Instead of being an on-kill effect like the onslaught support was, each time you use a non-triggered attack, you gain one stack of momentum. Each stack gives you an attack speed boost. Once you hit max stacks, you lose them all and gain swiftness for 1.5 seconds, which gives you 15% movement speed per momentum that you had. As the gem levels, you get more max stacks and more attack speed per stack. So level one, we can see here three max stacks, 15% attack speed per stack, up to a max of five at 20% per stack. One important thing to note though is that you're never actually at five stacks because they'll get removed. I can demonstrate here. We go one, two, three, four, this icon over here, and five, they're gone. So what that means is you're getting 0% attack speed on the first attack, 20% on the next, 40, 60, 80, and then back to zero. So that averages out at 40% attack speed, which is pretty good, all things considered. We can check the character sheet for my lightning arrow attack speed, 4.7 attacks per second at no stacks, up to 6.37 at max stacks. And you can kind of feel that as I'm attacking, a little bit of a difference between uh, can't take off my amulet, or otherwise I'd showcase that. But in general, I found the attack speed boost feels pretty good, and the movement speed as well. At level 5, at max stat, or level 5, level 20, at 5 momentum, you're getting a bonus of 75% movement speed, which, if we check the character sheet again, can run around a little bit, attack some stuff, and then suddenly that is a big boost in speed. I'm sure that's noticeable even there, and you definitely miss it when it's gone. Even in a mapping scenario where I have adrenaline from Death Rush or I've got my flask up, it is a very noticeable slowdown once it runs out. So in theory, that feels pretty good. When you're clearing, you got the movement speed to help you get around where you don't need as much damage, and when it's time to deal single target damage, you've got the attack speed helping you out a bit. So, especially as a glass cannon or DPS oriented character, you often get to the point of your upgrades being less about damage and more about speed. And this is an opportunity to take out one of your damaging supports for some extra utility in the form of attack and mostly movement speed. Now, the main problem with the gem is the fact that the movement speed you gain from swiftness is all or nothing. If I attack twice, pack is dead and I'm ready to move on, no movement speed. I lose my attack speed from the momentum because I lose the momentum overall, and I don't get a movement speed buff because I never hit max momentum. I still think it's an option that's worth considering for the damage versus speed point that I brought up, and it's kind of interesting because you may consider using a lower level momentum support instead of a higher level one. So it's much more comfortable to have to attack three times to gain swiftness and get that speed boost than it is to have to attack five times because I'm never attacking five times into a pack, right? But I could be attacking three times or I'm attacking a rare and kiting. And at three attacks required, that is significantly more comfortable than five attacks required. The movement speed is lower, of course, but not on a per momentum basis. So I'll be gaining 45% movement speed in that case instead of 75. That's still pretty good uh, for the most part, as long as you know, you're at the stage where most of the time you don't need that damage and would rather gain the speed. One thing to mention is quality is extremely good for the movement speed portion. 
swiftness lasts plus 0.5 seconds at max quality and it lasts 1.5 seconds base time so that's one third more duration and of course this scales with skill effect duration as well so if you get any of that coincidentally or if you're playing a build like toxic rain where skill effect duration is a single target damage increase then that'll do well to scale your swiftness as well it also has the interesting implication of giving your main skill the duration tag not really relevant most of the time but if you're ever theory crafting anything weird where you want to give like duration to your main skill for whatever reason then you can do that too so i get that it's kind of an early game gem that was the intention behind it you know to replace the old onslaught support which was never really used end game anyways i still like the gem and think it has a lot of potential and would rather see them update it to make it a little more useful end game i know that's unlikely but you know guy can dream right personally i'd like to see it still make you lose your momentum when you move but gain swiftness for the momentum that you had i actually thought that's how it was supposed to work originally because it makes sense you know the swiftness you get the speed is based on the amount of momentum you had so if you attack once and move you're going to be a tiny bit faster whereas if you attack five times and move with all of the gem no wonder i'm confusing myself here one, two, three, four, five, then you're going to get a bigger boost. You know, they could even make the duration scale with the amount of momentum lost as well, and that would feel a lot better, in my opinion, if it was like a quarter or half a second per momentum lost. That'd be pretty great. So, yeah. Just my thoughts after trying it out for a little bit. Did a handful of maps with the support instead of Mirage Archer, and it felt surprisingly good, so I thought I'd make a video on it. If you uh, have tried the support out, let me know what you thought of it and how well it worked for you. Or just let me know what kind of videos you want to see going forward. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.